sure that he's asked you, but once he's gone, you're left in absolutely no doubt that he has. Need a bit of a top-up, Jack. Well, go and ask Ruby, she's minding the bar. I wasn't talking about the drink. But he was positively glacial that morning. Most embarrassing. And just when is this year? It's all supposed to have taken place. Well, clearly when you were using this house as a teenage refuge. And with whom? Don't let's be so picky, John. There were nine girls here, none of whom could be called saints. It's all about my wife. Didn't she have anything to say about the matter? She would have done, I'm sure. If she hadn't been so... unwell. He had me boxed in right from the start. I think we should talk about how we are going to get you out of this mess, John. Oh. I think we should talk about my opal cufflinks. The ones you've just taken from my bedroom. Uh, no! <laughs> oh, don't worry, Ruby. I won't be sacking you. Far from it. In fact, he I He boasted that he had a golden goose, goose lined up. Well, geese, actually. A couple of overfed geese. You think they're about to get away with a fortune? Did you mention a name? But I know different. No. Bright sunny day. Mopping out the lockup. And I heard the voice. I'll have a couple of those lovely lobsters, please. And 30 seconds of your time? Yes. Do you know where my friends Richard and Margaret Florian live by any chance? I'm sure they have a place where it's Richard and Margaret. Yes, they're down by the estuary. Where is that? <laughs>